Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to tweak your skin tones and I think you're gonna be amazed at how simple um, this is. I almost feel bad showing you such a simple trick, but like it should be more, I don't know, I feel like it should be more, I don't, I don't know what I'm thinking, but it, it just, it really is what you need to do if you're um, struggling, you know, maybe because of lack of exposure or casting, color casting can make skin tones really hard. Whatever the reason you're struggling, this is super simple and it's going to help you. So let's get started. These are by um, our group member, Cheyenne. She is such a good photographer. Um, all of these are just beautiful images, but I'm just gonna show you a couple that I think we can use to um, show how to tweak the skin tone. So let's expose and we'll pop O2 on here. Crop it in a little so we can see the skin better. And the skin tones here are actually looking pretty good, just as is. Again, one other thing, in case you haven't heard me say this yet, most of you probably have, try as shot white balance, you know, before you decide to move forward with an image. It should always be first step, expose. Second step, scroll through and pick a preset. Third step, right over to white balance and try as shot. And then you can kind of eyeball it and see which one you think is better for the image. Um, in this case, they're both really similar. I'm gonna leave it on as shot for this one actually, and we'll just pull up our profile to give it some of that, um, you know, glow. I never know quite how to describe what the profiles do, but it's just sort of, I don't know, it's like magic. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is pretend that we wanted a moodier image, okay? So I'm gonna pull our exposure down We'll pull our blacks up just a little bit so you guys can actually see. So we'll, you can see that his, so here's another thing I want you to kind of think about when you're thinking of skin tones. See the difference in the person who's facing away from the light source and the person who's facing the light source. Do you see that? I mean, that is, he right here is such a good example of, you know, the sun's probably over here somewhere. She's facing some rocks, not getting a ton of, and you can see where the sun is because you can see this reflection right here. So he's facing out towards and she's facing away. She's getting, you know, darker, um, warmer skin and he's got this nice creamy skin tone. So, you know, think of this when you're out shooting. Um, think of this as how you should think about sunlight and how it's gonna affect your skin. You can always tweak things um, to look good, but the less, tweaking the better. I mean, obviously, that's why we're all here, right? We all just want an easy edit. We want dreamy skin tones. You know, we don't want to have to be sitting at the computer for hours. We want to spend time with our families. We want to have beautiful work. So think about that when you're out in the field. The more attention you pay to the light, um, the less you'll have to do. But anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to show you the trick. So super simple. Come up to masking. Pick a radial. Make sure your feather is at 100 right here. And then before you even draw the radial on, I want you to bring temp down by about 10. Let's bring it down just a little more. We'll say, start out with bringing temp down by 20, okay? And bring your exposure up by, put it at like 0.17, just a touch. Just gonna draw that right over. And you know, this is sort of a, a big circle here, but if you look at where the, you know, where the mask actually is, it's more intense towards the middle and it gets, you know, it fades out. So you're not going to look at that and see any halo or notice any difference between the temp right here and the temp right here. It's really just going to um, affect your skin tones. So do you see? Do you see what the difference that made? Look at that. Now let me take the mask off. Look at that, you guys. We'll put our mask back on. Look at that. How easy that was. If I hadn't been talking, that would have taken me, what, 20 seconds to do? Um, and it, you know, it will require just a little bit of eyeballing. There's no, you know, like I said, start with maybe negative 20 and just a touch of exposure. Um, there's no magic formula in terms of numbers. You will have to eyeball it a little bit, but you're a photographer. So chances are, you know, you're, you're good at that kind of thing. You're good at colors and color grading. So yeah, this is a stunning image and it's warm. It's got those coppery details. It has these nice rich sort of um, 
milky creamy white and now they have perfect skin tones and we didn't have to do anything to his um you know we just softened hers up a little bit and let's see i want to show you i adore this image so i'm going to show you this one too so let's give it some exposure cheyenne is such a good photographer a lot of her images have this really beautiful um sunlight peeking through which is like goals for me i can never seem to get that although i i live in michigan so it, often we don't have sunlight <laughs> um, okay we'll expose a little more and again i'm going to first check my white balance so i'm just coming over i'm going to start out with as shot um, that's just a little bit more neutral auto is a little warmer so here i'm going to show you another trick if you click as shot and you feel like well maybe the whites are better but the overall warmth isn't where you want it <clears throat> utilize your profile pull that up and look at that you have the best of both worlds you have that um you know the perfect white balance and then you have this warmth here too and it's not yellow warmth it's the golden sort of honey warmth so okay let me put a little contrast in it and i am going to just take a well, let's zoom in so we can see the skin better and I want to acknowledge that um, screen recordings don't translate colors exactly right. So, you know, there's just, there's limitations, but you can at least take these steps and apply them to your own images. So let's take a radial. Again, I'm just going to bring my temp down. This time I'm going to start with about negative 15 and just pop up the exposure by 0.17 usually seems to do it. I know I've mentioned this specific thing before, but anytime you lower your temp, you're going to want to bring up your exposure at the same time. Um, our eyes recognize warmth as light. Maybe because I've been thinking about this lately. Why is that? Why is it that when you lower temp on something, it darkens it? Maybe that's because our eyes recognize sunlight and like that's the shade and so more warmth equals more sun. I don't know. I'm I'm just speculating, but anytime you lower your temp, lift your exposure to, to um, compensate. So let's pop that right over. Now we've brought that down a little too much. So we're going to bring that up just a little bit. She has some pink undertones too, so um, I'm going to pull that down. And we'll zoom out and see. Yeah, that looks really good. Skin tones are great here, so let's take off our mask. This one's a little bit more subtle but I still wanna show you the difference. See that? Just popped your skin tones just a little bit, and again, it took me no time at all if I hadn't been talking. Um, this is such a pretty image, Cheyenne, gorgeous. Um, I wanna show you one that's really an extreme example, okay? And this is another good example of casting. And when you're out on the field and when you're shooting, how I want you to kind of take note of where you're at and take note of what, what may be causing casting for you. Um, casting is just when something is near your subjects and they may be reflecting. And you would be surprised how, uh, how do I want to put this, by how strong um, a reflection can be on skin tones, how much it can affect skin tones. You know, even just having this red brick underneath them and being surrounded by these um, really pretty um, orange and yellow leaves, you can get casting on the skin. Um, and another thing is here, she's facing away from the light source. You know, you can kind of see where the light is by the shadows, and she's facing away. So um, let's zoom in and look at, yeah. Her skin tone straight out of camera is um, quite dark, quite warm. And then his skin tone over here, f you know, facing the sun is you've got this, you know, way blown out exposed spot here, which, you know, just really adds to the depth and dimension of the image. So we won't worry about that. But then back here, <clears throat> let me expose a little so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, back here, his skin tone looks fine here, right? Because that's evenly lit. But then back here, you see where he has this reflection from the trees on his neck? This is really just such a perfect example. And I appreciate, um, Cheyenne, I appreciate you letting me use these. Um, okay, so we're exposing. We're just going to pop a preset on it. 
And then overall, I like the tones in this image. Um, I'll show you what happens when we click as shot. Yeah, as shot just didn't, you know, doesn't quite look right. So we're gonna go back to auto. And it's a little green, so I'm gonna pull up the tint just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now I'm gonna show you how to fix these skin tones because if this was your image, any one of you would be going, nope, don't like that. Where's the office meme? Don't like that. That's my favorite meme in existence. Every time I see it, I literally like laugh, ugly laugh, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, let's fix this. So we'll zoom her right in here. I'm just gonna take my radial. I'm gonna start even before I draw it on. I'm gonna start by bringing, in this case, I'm gonna bring it way down. Bring the temp down and bring the exposure up a little to compensate for the lack of temp. And we're gonna draw that baby on. And don't be afraid to draw it a little bit, you know, wider than the um, skin because it will be most intense where that black dot is and it will fade out as it goes. So put it right in the middle of her skin there. And then we're just gonna look and see what undertones do we see. Um, I see some pink, so I'm gonna bring that pink down just a little bit. And then it's still quite warm, so I'm gonna bring that warmth down. Okay, and then um, since this is gonna be a public video, I'm not going to show it because I'd have to show the brush settings, but the Magic Orange Skin Shadow erase, Eraser Brush, I cannot say that without getting my tongue tied. Um, I would take that and I would just brush it. Um, I'm gonna show you where. I'm just gonna take a brush. I would brush it right here, right here, right here and even down here, just to really even that skin tone out. You guys, and then up in the um, orbital bone. You guys, if you haven't used the orange skin shadow, you will be amazed at what this thing does. It is incredible. It's like I, took me a long time to figure out which sliders to move to get that look, but um, it's perfection and I use it quite often. I probably use it on every image. So I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna give that brush away because I do think it's valuable, but um, that's what I would do. Now look at this, look at the difference. All that is without me talking was 20 seconds of a radial filter, temp down, exposure up, okay? Um, I'm going to do it on him too. I'm gonna correct that little bit of casting that came off the trees. So we'll take our radial, nope. we'll pull our temp down exposure up just a little to compensate for that lack of temp and oops I knew I did something wrong there and we will draw that right around that spot where he's got a lot of casting and then once you get it on there you just assess what is what do you see what colors do you see I still see a little bit too much orange maybe yeah see that now that looks like his skin <clears throat> there's a little pink in there too so I'm gonna pull that down Voila, look at that, you guys. I just, I, even after all these years of editing and, um, you know, Lightroom and Photoshop and whatever, these st things still, like, fascinate me, tickle me pink. Like, I'm always amazed. I just, edit, I love editing. So now let me show you. I'm going to delete our masks so you can see the difference. See that, guys? Even even on a um, even on a screen recording, you should be able to see what that's doing. Whoops! Oh, you know what? I can't delete the masks because, yeah, I can't delete them and re redo it because I've already. But anyway, you guys can see what that does, so I'm not going to harp on it too much. <coughs> Excuse me. Now there's one more I want to show you to make a point. <coughs> this is such such a good image. And what a gorgeous girl, like, can I look like that someday? No, because I'm getting older, so that will never happen. Anyway, um, I wanna show you the difference between no casting at all, there's absolutely no color casting here, and look at the perfect even light. Um, <clears throat> you know, she's not directly in the sunlight, but that doesn't matter. She's perfectly evenly lit by ambient light. Um, and that's all you need. You don't need, you know, direct golden hour, you know, sun rays setting somebody. You just need this really soft, even lighting. Um, this is really good exposure. This is just, the whole thing is perfect. So I'm gonna, if you guys didn't know about the transform 
um, section. Try this if you have some lines that are a little bit wacky in your images. Just come down to transform and click auto. And then you don't have to mess around with um, you know, tweaking that yourself. So I start there. Okay, again, we're just gonna do our regular steps. We're gonna start with expose. Then we're going to add a preset. Then we're gonna come over to white balance. And in this case, as shot is better. So look at that. That skin tone is stunning. So good. There's, you know, that's a two click edit all day long. Beautiful. Of course, you could tweak, you know, whatever you wanted to. Personally, in this, I would, you could pull the profile. See, and even when you do pull the profile up on these <clears throat> perfectly lit, no casting images, um, you still, you could just get this gorgeous honey, perfect porcelain, you know, skin. Um, yeah. If you wanted to take some of the shadowing out of her arm, you could do that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, gosh. <clears throat> um, it is a natural shadow, so I probably wouldn't do too much to it. But you could just take the temp down just a touch, um, pull up the exposure to compensate, and just even out her skin there. Uh, yeah, I use radials on skin all the time. Um, it just literally does everything. Now I wanna show you one other trick for you know anybody who hasn't seen this. I'm going to show you now how to really quickly, please don't be intimidated by this if you've never used Photoshop, I'm going to show you the quickest way to um, gain dynamic range in your images. There's nothing in Lightroom that does the same thing, and this is quicker than anything you've ever done in Lightroom too, so um, if you don't have Photoshop, that's okay. If you have the $10 a month Adobe plan, go to your um, Creative Cloud app download it you can download it for free and um, use it for not for free but as part of your you know ten dollar a month plan and um, once you've done that you come to photo edit in edit in photoshop and that'll take just a second to open up but this for those of you who are looking for a little bit of extra pop in your images this is going to do it for you okay <clears throat> okay once you get into photoshop come up to window I want you to make sure that adjustments is clicked. Um, don't worry about anything else, just make sure adjustments is clicked. That's gonna give you this box right here. Okay, there's only one thing in here that I want you to use. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but this is what I want you guys to see. This um, second from the left here is the levels. Looks like a crown. You're gonna just click that. Now, first thing you wanna do is come down to this um, left corner here, and this is the caution showing you that your levels could be better. Um, which we know, that's why we're here. So we're gonna click there. And then this point at the right is our, our white point, and this point over here is our black point. So we are going to increase our dynamic range by pulling our white point in to the edge of our histogram. Now our black point is already good, it's already right there, but if you want, you can add a little bit more dimension, look at her hair, by pulling that black point in. And that just gave you a ton of dynamic range in very few clicks. Um, you don't have to just go to the edge, you could pull it in and you know see, see what that's doing. But if you just pull it to the edge, that's gonna give you, a, you know, your perfect dynamic range for this image. So then we come down to layers, okay, that's right over here. Click these little four um, horizontal lines here. You're gonna come down to flatten image. Okay, that's gonna turn those two layers into one layer. And then, I showed this in another tutorial, but um, you can make a finishing action that will sharpen, save for print, and allow you to be ready to save it. Um, and when you finish it this way, it will apply the unsharp mask, which is professional sharpening, and it will change to the color space you want, and it'll make it ready for um, saving, printing, and sharing to the web. It's how I save everything. Um, even on weddings, I don't batch save anything. I pull everything into Photoshop um, before I save it. So that, I think, is... That's it, you guys. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Um, that's it. That's all you need to know for your skin tones, I promise you. Um, you know, the, the two big deals with this pack is white balance and, you know, your skin tones. This is the perfect little trick to have you be able to correct them easily, quickly, Never worry about your skin tones again. Um, you know, I think this is a good example of how good the skin tones are with Reverie and Oak when you're not getting any casting um, and when you do have good exposure, but that's not 
um, practical. I mean, we all run into times when we have to shoot in orange and red leaves and green grass because our clients want fall photos, you know? So, and you're going to get casting there. You're going to get green casting. You're going to get orange and red, and that could lead to tricky skin tones, especially if you don't have perfect exposure. So, um, as much as I love this pack, there are times that you're going to click it, and it's not going to be what you want right away. So, um, the best thing I can do for you guys is to keep just sharing these tricks and helping you um, really learn how to utilize it, and that's what I want for you guys. So, um, comment if it, you know, helped, and I would love to see, like, images if you guys try it and it works for you, and yeah, I hope that, um, I hope that you guys had a good weekend, and it's still charity day, so if anybody wants to buy the pack, all that money will go to, um, one of those three charities, or I think that they're maybe going to be close enough that we can split it, um, but I will make a post tomorrow and share, um, the totals from today, and I will ask you guys what you want to do, whether you want to give it to the winner or if you want to split it between the top two. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow about that. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, bye.